Alright, what's going on guys? Rockstar here and today we are back with some more Call of Duty Warzone. Hopefully you're all having a great day today and I really appreciate you tuning into the video. So, Warzone itself has been out for four weeks now and tomorrow drops Season 3 of Modern Warfare. So I'm very excited to see what the developers have planned for the game itself because I've really enjoyed this game so far. There have been a few minor problems, but I believe the developers are aware of these issues and they will be fixed. So with Season 3 coming out tomorrow, I've kind of put together a wish list that I'd like to see happen within Warzone. So just a few things that I'd like to see happen over the course of the season, if not be dropped tomorrow. There are a few things that we know that are coming for sure, such as squads and duos and the player cap being raised to 200 players, especially within the squad game mode. But my list has a few other things that I'd like to see addressed as well as added into the game. So, so you guys let me know what you think about my list. And if there's anything you'd like to add, be sure to drop in the comments. And together we can hopefully make Warzone one of the best games out there. So before I get into my list, I'd like to go ahead and plug my sniper montage that I dropped yesterday. So I've been using the car 98 a lot within this game. For me, it's just so much more enjoyable to get kills with. So I've been using it and I've hit some insane stuff. So I dropped a montage yesterday. If you missed it, be sure to go check it out. If you look on your screen right now, there should be a little annotation at the top right. If you're interested in checking that out, click that annotation. And be sure to let me know what you think about it. I've been hitting some ridiculous stuff lately. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And let's go ahead and get into my list. The first thing that I would like to see addressed are hackers and other exploits of the game. And I know this has been a huge problem since the release. And I don't know about you guys, but I've came across so many hackers within the game. There's been so many times where I've gotten headshotted from across the map or I've been up against someone and it just seems as if they beam me. And every time I've suspected something going on, you can obviously see it within the game. And I'll have some clips on the screen for you guys just to show, to show how obvious it can be at times. But I know they are working on getting this situated. They've claimed to have banned over 50,000 accounts. And since they've released that statement, I can kind of tell that the lobbies are getting a little bit better, but there are still some issues out there. Every other game, it seems as if I'm running into someone one that has it the good thing is you can kill them but i have seen some clips of other people dealing with a god mode player where the guy just will not die that is something i hope that they fix before they lose too many players because of it because i've seen so many people talk about switching over to other games already because it's just not enjoyable whenever you're running around getting so late in the game getting high kill games to only get killed by a hacker at the end Hopefully they get that fixed and I think they are in the process of getting that taken care of. So the next thing on my list has to deal with skill based matchmaking and it is so obvious that it is prevalent within the game and I don't understand why Activision wants to keep it hidden even though everyone knows that it is happening. I know the developers at Infinity Ward claim that they have no part in determining whether or not skill based matchmaking is going to be implemented. That Activision is the main one implementing the skill based matchmaking and there's nothing that they can do about it. I know the target market is just to try and keep lower skill players continuing to play the game and it's almost as if you can never take a game casually it's, you're on the main stage playing every single game especially if you have a high score per minute or a high kd i know for myself i basically only snipe i have a 3.4 kd within this game and my score per minute is around 400 which is always going to put me in the top tier of the skill based matchmaking and it is so hard to kind of just casually play sometimes because you're always going to get put up against someone that is going all out. One thing I would like to see them do if they do decide to keep the skill based matchmaking is maybe implement some kind of ranking system where it's more rewarding to actually go up against this competition. Something as simple as a ranking system like they have in league play, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, something like that where you're matched up against other bronze, silver, gold or diamond players and you try to make your way to the top of the leaderboards in that way. That'll give you something to play for. You know that you're getting matched up against people of a similar skill level but you get to kind of prove who's the top dog and i think it would be very enjoyable for all the players within the game to kind of have something to grind hopefully they'll do something like that and i don't see a better time than right now during season three when the game is very young the next thing on the list has to deal with the vehicles and not all the vehicles are bad the four wheeler is okay the buggy is just fine the helicopter is all right the one that i'm talking about is what i consider to be the best weapon in the game and that is the cargo truck and i know you guys know what i'm talking about how many times have you been playing and you've had to deal with some guy driving around in this huge truck that seems to take so much damage and there is nothing you can do about it. The agility this thing has to go forward and backwards and turn sharp. There's so much about this thing that makes it so overpowered and I cannot stand this thing you guys this is more of a personal thing that I'd like to see gone either make it weaker make it slower make it something to make it 
a little more fair because it right now it's super overpowered. I don't know if maybe having the vehicles only be first person as well, because you do get an advantage if you hop in a vehicle for the third person view, maybe make that first person. I don't know if that would be something that would fix it without having to do too much to the vehicle. And even the hitbox is off. Like sometimes you may not even be near the truck and you get killed by it. But when it's as overpowered as it is, something needs to be done about it. And hopefully they fix it, man, because right now it is super annoying. All right. So the next thing on the list is something that doesn't necessarily need to be done but i think it would be cool if they have this as an option within the game and that is world spawn weapon attachments so right now whenever you drop into the game before you get your loadout you are limited to certain iron sight weapons you may come across something that has a red dot or a silencer on it but there is no option for you to either take that sight off or pick up another I think if they were to add something to where you can pick up a certain side for a weapon or a certain attachment for a weapon, I think that would make the game a lot more interesting. And there are certain weapons such as the gold AK that has the green circle reflex side on it that does not have any good control at all. Like if I could take that off and use the regular stock AK, I would enjoy that a lot more than having to deal with this green ugly red dot scythe on my gun. And if I could find another red dot to throw on there, maybe that would be something I'd be interested in using or something such as the scar that has a terrible kick. If I could have the option to throw a red dot side on or maybe some kind of stock or grip to kind of help my control out with that gun a little bit more. And I don't think it needs to be as similar to what Blackout kind of had. It could be as simple as just picking up the weapon attachment off the ground or pressing a certain button to detach it if you don't want it. I think that would be pretty cool to see because sometimes the iron sights, while they're good, Sometimes when you go up against someone that has a loadout before you, you're just at a full disadvantage. And I think this would kind of help put things on a little more of a level playing field. All right, so the next thing on the list has to deal with parts of the map itself. And not that the map is bad at all. I think the map layout is awesome. So no complaints there. The only part of the map that I do not enjoy are the mountain areas where you have to climb the rocks because you are not able to climb the rocks. It is almost like you are on ice skates every single time you're trying to go up and over a small boulder. I know it should be an easy fix and I think it is something that they just forgot to kind of throw in there, but there have been so many times where I've been trying to get up these rocks and I've either gotten shot in the back because I'm just sitting there hopping over and over again and the guy finally catches up to me or the storm is coming in and I'm unable to make it up the hill in time and I end up dying to the gas and that has happened to me more times than I'd like to admit. As far as the map, that is the only issue that I have. I know there will be some changes in the long run, like maybe some different points of interest that need to be added, but the map itself is so big and there's so many different places you can go. Right now, I have no issues with that. Just please, guys, fix the rocks for us. All right, so the last thing on my wish list that I'd like to talk about are some Warzone exclusive things, like certain weapons, certain camos, certain characters, stuff like that so that you can actually play and have challenges to unlock will make this game so much more fun. I know that the game was released during the middle of a season, so there should definitely be some different things within this new season, this new battle pass. But the more exclusive stuff you can have the war zone, the better. The more people you're gonna have playing it, the more things that you can unlock. There's already so many different things that you can do from the scavenger missions, the recon missions, the bounty missions, all those things are great. But to keep people playing, you have to have some kind of reward system or else the game's just gonna get too repetitive and then you're gonna lose players. And everything would be simple, cause cosmetic things like you unlock certain weapon camos for getting this many kills with a weapon this many headshots with a weapon if you get this many kills in a game you unlock this special skin or you get certain bullet tracers or little things that just say hey I completed this challenge that makes people grind this game more that keeps people playing and over time you're going to have a more successful game with this type of reward system in place all right guys so that will do it for this video hopefully you all enjoyed and be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments what you think about my wish list List and let me know what your wish list is for season three of Warzone. Thank you guys once again for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. I'll be making tons of Warzone stuff as well as streaming on Twitch. So be sure to go over to my Twitch now at twitch.tv slash rockstar TV. I'm going to start streaming back over there rather than my YouTube. I think my YouTube has finally caught up a little bit and I'm kind of happy with how things are going. So we're going to make the transition back over to Twitch for my streams. So I hope to see you guys there. Hope to see you guys in the future videos and for now I will catch you guys later. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Enemy personal
Hostile radar in the air. That's it. 